Brendan Schaub's wife ran into some issues. Brendan Schaub's wife ran into some issues with some guy at some Starbucks, I think. Um, the actual original story is kind of hard to get your head around because Brendan Schaub's wife is a bit redacted. With all due respect, she's a bit redacted. Um, I'm not too sure if English is her second language. I'm not too sure it's because she never graduated high school. I'm not too sure it's because she's got worms for brains. I'm not too sure it's just because she maybe just struggles with writing her ideas or thoughts down. But either way, she has a very weird way of like describing things and writing things. So she went on social media originally and she m made this post that was posted on the Final Kids subreddit. She put this post up on her Instagram feed with a picture of Brendan in front of the giveaway truck, which he's been driving around town on a daily, which is fucking wild. But anyway, she made this post on her Instagram that says the follows. You were my superhero today and always I hope you talk about it, but just know your kids I and I were so proud of you and how sexy you came to my rescue at Starbucks. Today I'll forgive you leaving your shoes on floor and leaving a mess. So you can't really make sense of what she's writing there because, you know, grammar and everything else is out of the window. But from what I can kind of pass together, it seemed like she ran into some sort of issue with somebody in public, maybe at a drive through called Brendan down for beat for for support and he came down in record time and back the beef I guess that's what she's trying to say anyway she did decide for some reason Brendan Schub's wife Brendan Schub's wife thought it would be a good idea to share her story on YouTube now the YouTube video is gone I'm so fucking pissed I didn't do this stream earlier but allegedly Brendan Schub's wife put up a YouTube video on her channel talking about this instance that she had with somebody and i guess the comments were super brutal so she deleted the entire video so we don't have the video comments to see but we do have the video to watch somebody from the final kids subreddit did rip the video before she took it down so we can watch the video and kind of figure out try to figure out at least what she's talking about so this is it starbucks vigilante long and boring big up haphazard so let's see and hear what the fuck she's even talking about because i'm confused so this is Brendan Schaub's wife. Um, she, I know she looks very pale and white, but she's actually Mexican. Um, I've also found out via the Final Kids subreddit that there's a there's a colorism in every culture, and I guess colorism within Hispanic community is that if you are darker, that means that you toll the fields or you do a lot of work where you're outdoors, so it means you're poorer and don't have a lot of money. But if you're more pale and more like you know pasty looking. It means that you stay inside, you got air con, you don't have to work in the fields and shit, picking cotton or strawberries or whatever people think they do out there. And that's when you know you're rich. So maybe this is like a purposeful look where she's like purposefully, you know, walking around with an umbrella all the time and kind of covering herself in talcum powder. I don't know, but this kind of really washed out white look is a thing in Hispanic communities if you want to look like a bit affluent and shit. Anyway, let's continue. Let's hear about this Starbucks vigilante. Hey guys, um, all right, I'm gonna share uh, the story of what happened to us yesterday to me and the kids. Um, it's not- <laughs> Nice little flex of the watch. Nice little flex of the watch and the ring. I like that, very subtle, very subtle, but I like the little reminder. I like the little reminder to pull up the, the, the wrist watch and to flick around with the, the earlobe so you can see that fat engagement ring. I like that, just very subtle, just to remind you niggas. I'm rich, you guys are poor, you guys are brokies, you're fat, you're lame, you can't talk to me, whatever. I like it, I like it, let's go, let's go. By any means, like a, a fun, Ooh. funny story to have to share. Okay. Um, it was very scary at the time when it was happening, but also it made me realize that um, there's like superheroes and vigilantes and it happened to be- <laughs> There's like superheroes and vigilantes. <laughs> it made me realize there's superheroes and vigilantes. And my husband is both. <laughs> my husband is both. <laughs> what? We Bren yesterday. Um, we were leaving my house pretty early. We usually leave at right 7.45, um, whether it is to go to school. Hold on. Is she reading notes? Is she reading notes? Is she looking down to read her notes? Did she write a fucking little script about this thing? Is she reading notes? ...to camp, and Bren usually works out in the mornings, and he comes back on time 
to say goodbye, whatever, give us a kiss and head on for the rest of the day. But yesterday he didn't make it, the odds of him not making it yesterday. And so I drive to Starbucks, it's super close to my house. Um, and Doxy. I pull into the Starbucks, there's that work truck in front of me. And um, <laughs> I like how she says work truck, like who works? Chumps, who's working for chump change? Work trucks, ugh. Yuck, I, I drive my G-Wagon past the work truck, like, ugh, work truck. Ugh, really dark looking Mexican people, ugh. Why is their skin so brown, ugh. They're Why are they so tanned, ugh. Ordering. So I'm right behind, and there's a car behind me now, because that Starbucks is pretty busy. Um, while the truck in front of me that caused havoc was ordering, Bren called me, and he said, hey babe, where are you? And I said, oh, I'm at the Starbucks. I said, I'm with the kids. He said, oh, I'm literally like three, four minutes away. He goes, order your stuff. And then because it's a gas station, you can wait. And he said, and just wait for me. I'll come give you guys a hug and a kiss. And then you guys can head off to your day. So I said, perfect. I pull up, it's my turn to order my drink. And I roll the window down. I order our drinks. But the, the work truck in front of me, I guess work trucks are a little wider. They're like a wider. <laughs> <laughs> honestly i reckon in in life do you end up with the person that you probably deserve in it like you end up with like your match your equal like iq wise these they like they're like the same in it her and brendan are literally the same person it's like this meandering nonsensical boring our story it's like girl get to the point like what is this this is a 12 minute video about some running you had with a guy at a basic from what i can surmise i'm gonna summarize it most likely she had some sort of like car beef with somebody in a drive-thru the guy in front was probably taking too long she beeped him to hurry up then the guy got mouthy back to her she got mouthy to him it, they started arguing maybe some swear words were exchanged and then she said watch i'm gonna call my husband he said okay call him then i don't give a fuck who your husband is and she said oh okay watch she calls him he happens to be around the corner he gets there really quickly and that's it that's basically what happened but she's gonna fucking stretch it out for 12 ex ex excruciating minutes talking about the width of the truck in front of her and the color of the truck it's like girl come on load so um he didn't give himself enough space or room to be able to turn like the corner and go into like the little hallway where you pick up your drinks from starbucks okay so he starts backing up and in 2024 i want to say most cars have a rear view cameras <laughs> in 2024 most cars have a rear view camera yo this girl is <sighs> I I pray honestly. I pray they don't end up broke, because I don't think I don't think this girl could handle it. If Brendan ran into some financial troubles and they lost their money, I think she might have like an actual mental breakdown. She might not be able to come back from it. If they had to sell their all their worldly possessions, right, to make some money to pay their bills and shit, and things were really down bad and Fitboy Studios had to shut. This woman might fucking unalive herself. Like her entire identity is wrapped up in like stuff. Every everyone has a car with a rear view camera. Um, I don't think so, my love. I think most people just drive cars to get them to A to B. I don't think most people have cars that are just like covered in cameras like a fucking Tesla. That's not usually a thing. <laughs> that's that's like a <laughs> that's not usually a standard in all cars, right? That's like a luxury that people don't usually go out of the way to have, you know? A rear, view, a rear view mirror works for most people. Most people don't have fucking rear view cameras on their car. <laughs> I love this woman. However, this guy got really close to my car. I'm talking inches, like inches from hitting my car. So I did a courtesy like honk. I said, babe, I said like, hey, I'm here. Don't back up anymore because I'm right here. So he stops, I put my car in reverse and I start backing up myself. Okay. The lady behind me apparently doesn't know we live in 2024 where we have rear view cameras and she holds the horn, which felt like for five- Oh, she's basically trying to say, 
the person behind her didn't know that she could see her because she had a rear camera what when somebody honks the cat when somebody holds the horn or honks the horn at you they're not doing it because they think you can't see them they're doing it so that you can hear them and see them and hurry up whatever you're doing so that they can pass they're not doing it to be like incognito i don't think so i don't think when someone is holding the horn they're just like hoping you don't realize it's them doing it they're doing it so that you know it's them so that you can be self-conscious that you're taking, you're taking too long and hurry up so that they can go about doing what they're doing i don't know how she's surmising that i, I don't know i don't know five whatever. minutes she's literally hanging on to the horn like the honking horn okay and i'm like whoa you know i even me i'm like what are you doing so my window's down i see the guy get out of the car out of the work truck and he starts coming towards me. Mind you, Tiger sits in the front and Boston sits behind me. So we see this guy coming and he starts shouting at me like horribly. Bitch, you know. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I like how she's being a PG as well. She's not saying the swear words, right? Uh, <laughs> she's miming it. That's fucking <laughs> oh man she's fucking dumb as bricks man but bless her man this story is going way too long what are you doing honking at me and then he comes to my car and hits slams the hood okay. of my car uh -huh. and at this point tiger's scared you know mm -hmm. he's like well, what is this guy doing i told the guy i said back up i said if you get any closer i will run you over i said you are scaring my kid whoa okay that's kind of badass i like that I like that. If you get any closer, I will commit ve 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 vehicular, vehicular, vehicular manslaughter. Yeah, if you get any closer, I will put you on a t-shirt vis-a-vis this fucking G-Wagon. I, I rate that. I rate that energy. It's, you need to back up. And he goes, who do you think you're talking to? Blah, blah, blah. He goes, I will fuck you up. Oof. When he... Oh, now we're getting spicy. Now we're getting spicy. I can't wait until she gets a gun. Most likely, she's probably going to go get a gun and she's probably going to talk about it on social media. It's going to be hilarious to know that this woman, this absolute ditz, is walking around with a fucking strap. That's going to be amazing when she goes out and gets herself a, you know, a license to carry. We're going to be living in a good fucking time. He said that it clicked in my mind that my husband was on his way to give me and his kids a kiss before sending us off to summer camp. Most again, I, I have to make this point again. Most women who are sensible don't get excited at the thought of calling their husband to come back a beef that they're having with some guy in a parking lot that isn't really a beef. It happens to all of us. Little road rage thing passes, you keep it moving. But she's gleefully retelling this story about, oh my God, I was so excited about calling Brendan. Like, you could have got Brendan in trouble. Brendan could have got murked. Like, he could have turned up there. That guy could have felt threatened and he could have blew Brendan's head off. You should have managed that situation yourself. You're in your car anyway. I think what she said to the guy was good. If you come near me again, I'm going to run you over. That's good what you're doing. Make sure the doors are locked. Make sure the windows are up and just stay in your car. There's no need to call Brendan and like that. You're making him because I don't know about you guys, but if your girl calls you on the phone and says some guy says something crazy to her, you're going to go into that interaction super hot. You're not going to go into that, into that interaction to talk. You're going to, going to go into that interaction to put somebody's lights out. And in Brendan's case, he's already got a lot of pent up aggression in him anyway. She should be very, she shouldn't be so quick to call him in these situations. I don't think so because that could have ended badly for everybody involved. You're in your car, the lo doors are locked, the windows are up. Just sit there, ignore the person. You don't need to fucking make it bigger than that. But anyway, let's let her continue. And so I said, oh, okay. I said, you really want to do this? I said, that's, that's how you feel? And he goes, yes, bitch, I will fuck you up. And so I'm like, all right. I said, you know what? I'm going to call my husband and he's the one that's going to F you up. I said, you don't... What are you doing, girl, man? With your kids in the car too. So you're adding fucking fuel to the fire. The guy's already done something wrong. He shouldn't have done what he did, the, uh, the guy allegedly. But that could have been dealt with in a situation. But you don't add more fuel to a fire with your kids there by saying, yeah, okay, now I'm going to get my husband to come fuck you up. What about if he got there? Imagine how traumatizing it would be for her kids if Brendan gets there to save the day 
and then he gets his head blown off and they see him bleed out on the floor in front of them talk to a woman like that let alone you don't talk to a woman who has her kids in the car and he goes okay gives me this attitude literally you don't talk, you don't talk to a woman like that like <laughs> what <laughs> what <laughs> pick up nj ranger brother zero shot negative shot that Bapa was on his way to give lady macbeth and the chombies a kiss before they go off to summer camp <laughs> in mid-august <laughs> I love how they live a I just love how they live a life where they're like like they live like their own like why is he like alone in a car by himself and then he's like I, I don't know you know it's just this weird what a weird relationship they have like it's a school run either one person takes them or one person doesn't why is he in a car by himself doing his own thing and then she's in the car like, it's just a weird they live like they're co-parenting in a way it's just a bizarre world big up Angel Ranger um big up uche she sounds like a taco bell mexican yeah she, she definitely does sound like a taco bell mexican like and you know what's really sad as well about this this 12 minute video is 12 minutes because her day-to-day -day life is so boring that this was legitimately the one thing that kind of gave her life and a reason to you know exist and to be excited like genuinely that's the really sad thing about this like she needs this story this story is like Oh my god guys you never guess i got into an argument with a guy at a drive through no way yeah way it's like this happens to all of us like, it's like a passing thing that happens day to day someone's really rude to you or bumps you on the street says something under their breath you say something back to them you just keep it moving you don't get on your instagram stories and be like guys you'll never guess what i was in the tesco's this girl in front of me was acting like she i wasn't in the queue then she jumped in front of me then i told her i was like you don't no one like you just you just keep it moving you forget about it it's just like whatever 12 minute video you know 12 minute fucking video and by the way at the end i'm pretty sure that nothing happened i'm pretty sure brendan got there brendan kind of vibed awed, big time the guy the guy kind of cowered and that was it i'm sure nothing happened at the end of it nothing happened so 12 minutes and we get to the end and there's no big resolution goes, okay call your little husband then so I said, I literally giggled because in my mind, I was like, yo, this woman is evil. I giggled. She was looking forward to violence. She's that, she's that, um, she's the king in fucking gladiator. You know, the one that Joaquin Phoenix plays with that kind of devilish smile. She wanted to see blood. She wanted to see blood. She wanted to see somebody die in front of her. Like you niggas are going to fight for this pussy. <laughs> You're gonna fight for these fucking lips. <laughs> you guys are gonna fight to the death. Whoever wins, guess my pussy. Like, yo, this woman is psychotic, bro. Wow, this guy just doesn't know who he's dealing with. I giggled <laughs> and I looked at him and I said, "You're gonna regret you said that in about one minute, one point <laughs> five." Yo, she's mad, bro. She legitimately wanted Brendan to go there and put the guy in a fucking armbar. She wanted Brendan to go there and put this guy in a triangle. Like, do you know what I mean? She wanted this guy to go and get, get put this guy, you know, fake the fucking right hook, go for the go for the takedown, single leg, <laughs> get full mount, <laughs> ground and pound in front of her kids on a concrete floor. Yo. She was looking forward to seeing a real fight in that parking lot area. She wanted someone to die. She wanted that shit to be in the Los Angeles Times. Minutes? You're going to regret you just said that to me. And he goes, okay, I'll be waiting. I said, okay, dude, why don't you get back in your car? We'll see what happens. <laughs> Everybody in this situation deserves each other. Everyone deserves each other. I would have loved it if this story crescendoed in like the guy pulled up, Brendan pulls up, he's got a blicky, Brendan's got a blicky, she's got a blicky, and they're just all firing. And then the only people that are alive at the end of it are the kids. <laughs> Everyone just starts panicking and getting scared and just starts blasting each other. And it's just a whole car park, you know, with Brendan's fucking silver and green and red fucking pickup truck, her G-Wagon covered in blood, her body splayed on the bonnet, him on the floor, the guy on his truck, and the only people alive are Tiger and Boston. 
<laughs> that would have been that would have been cinema. He gets back in the car. He goes and picks up his drink, and at this point, I'm shaking. I'm 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 shaking. Of course, you're shaking. I'm shaking. Of course, you're a shaker. Of course, she's a shaker. Guys, I was shaking. Oh god. It was Probably the suspension in your car, babe. Don't put it in sport mode. Put it in cruise. That's scary to have a man come charging at me and hit the hood of my car, threaten me and, and the kids. You know, so now I'm shaking. She's going to get a strap. This is the type of woman that justifies this interaction was kind of her fault and the guy's fault. They could have easily sorted out like adults and it didn't need to get this far. But this is the type of woman that will use this story as a justification to have like an AR-15 under her seat. <laughs> <laughs> she's gonna have an ar-15 under her seat anybody else that tries a ting she's gonna blow their fucking brains out like she's gonna get a strap for sure you're gonna see her at fucking terran tactical she's gonna be at terran tactical posting videos on instagram blah, 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 blah. she's gonna honestly you're gonna see her do that <laughs> she's gonna turn into one of those 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 hot women that are into guns those right wingers honestly watch 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 and I call Bren and I'm like, babe, where are you? And he's like, oh, you know, he's like all hand, like happy go doodle guy, you know, driving. To go doodle. What? She said happy go doodle guy. What's a go doodle guy? And, and I'm like, babe, where are you? And he's like, oh, you know, he's like all hand, like happy go doodle guy. <laughs> happy go doodle guy. What's a go doodle guy? And, and I'm like, babe, where are you? And he's like, oh, <laughs> you know, he's like all hand, like happy, happy go, go doodle, doodle guy, guy, you know. <laughs> <laughs> she's got the mental age of a kid i love her so much man she's so amazing she's so, honestly i wish i could be this dumb i think there's a utility to be this dumb to being this dumb life must be actually quite fun i'm not gonna lie i think intelligence intellect is a prison every day i read my books every day i write every day i think every day i pontificate Every day I philosophize and my life is a hell. I'm a prisoner to my own thoughts. I'm a prisoner to my IQ level. But I think if I was dumb, if I was actually dumb, dumb, like single digit IQ, like didn't graduate high school dumb, I think my life would be so much better. The daffodils. Da, da, da. AP, Richie Millie, Bentley. Louis Vuitton, you know, I'd like that life would be so much better. Honestly, I wish I was that person. <sighs> wish I wasn't so smart. <laughs> Driving to the Starbucks and I'm like, where are you? And he's like, whoa, he's like, what's up? He's like, what's going on? I said, the M.O. foe in front of me just threatened me and your kids. And he said, the, the M.O. foe. <laughs> The M O F O. I love how I love her mummy voice. I guess she doesn't want to cuss in front of the kids. Doesn't want to set a bad example on social media and stuff. The M O F O. What? Driving to Starbucks, and I'm like, "Where are you?" And he's like, "Whoa!" He's like, "What's up?" He's like, "What's going on?" I said, "The M O F O in front of me just threatened me and your kids," and he said he was gonna fuck me up. And Bren goes, what? He goes, what does he look like? What is he driving? And I said, he's in front of me. <laughs> Brendan again with a casual racism. What does he look like? Brendan trying to gauge if it's a black guy. <laughs> Brendan trying to soft gauge if it's a black dude. What does he look like? Does he? Is he wearing a chain? Is he blasting hip hop music? <laughs> Does he have Jordans on? <laughs> Is he smoking weed? <laughs> Did he say something about your bum? <laughs> oh, Brendan, what does he look like? <laughs> Oh, this is a good screen grab, by the way. I need that. I need that screen grab. I need that screen grab. This is a fucking good screen. She looks really cute there. I need that fucking screen grab. I need that. Jesus Christ. Let's go. He's in a white work truck. He is a Caucasian male. Um, and He's a Caucasian male, just like me. And he was very aggressive towards me. Why is she talking like a Karen? 
Why is she talking like she's talking to like the police officers? He was very aggressive towards me, a Caucasian male. <laughs> Fucking fed. And this is what he said. He goes, I will be right there. And I said, thank you. I will be here too. What kind of conversation is this that they're having? Bren, a Caucasian male in a white work pickup truck threatened me and the kids. I will be right there. <laughs> it's like, what type of conversation are they having on the phone? <gasps> So then I, go, I pull up to the window and I'm trying to get my stuff right. I'm like, oh, please hurry, give me the drinks because the guy um, in front of me grabs his drink and he's trying to speed out, you know? And as I grab my drink. And so the guy's trying to leave. The guy that got into a passer with her got his drink and he's trying to speed out. And she's trying to hurry to what? Stop him so that Brendan can get there and fuck him up. Huh? And the guy has just turned. I'm trying to be right behind him in case Bren doesn't know what car it is. Or oh my god, she's actually trying to make sure that Brendan knows who this guy. Like, not even trying to like lower the temperature, maybe go somewhere. Like, nah, she's actually starting to stoke the fires of this interaction, or of this fucking, you know, running they're gonna have with each other. What's she doing, bro? I want Brendan to know what car it is. So I'm standing here. It's like, oh yeah, yeah. This could have been, this could have ended badly for everybody involved. Who I was talking about. I grab my drink and I speed up. Next thing you know, I hear like screeching tires. And, I'm <laughs> and my pussy gets so fucking wet. I'm literally rubbing my nipples. I'm sticking my finger in my mouth. I'm covering my kid's face. I'm saying, babies, don't look at mommy right now. Mommy's doing adult things. And I'm honestly, I'm moaning in the front seat of my G-Wagon. I am moaning. I am so hot. I'm so horny. The whole front seats are covered in jizz. And I'm just like, oh my God, my brain is about to commit murder in front of my eyes. I've not seen this guy win a fight in years. And he's going to win a fight in our honor for our babies. And I'm going to get to come in the front seat of my G-Wagon with that face right there. And I'm going to cover my entire front seat, my entire steering wheel in my nice pale Mexican sauce. And we're going to all be okay. This is so amazing. I can't wait. That screech legitimately was the only thing that has gotten me horny and hot since the balenciaga bag that i purchased last weekend demna could never do this only bren only bren screeching tires of his red pickup truck that he's gonna give away that he now has 160 miles in is gonna give me this feeling like what the fuck is she talking about yo i'm like oh shit, that's definitely gonna be bren so this guy is trying to um, get out of the driveway of like the gas station onto Ventura and Ventura Boulevard. And he, Bren comes and intersects him in the middle of Ventura Boulevard. So this guy has no idea what's going on. He thinks he's God Almighty calling me a bitch. He thinks he's God Almighty. <laughs> he thinks he's God Almighty calling me a bitch. <laughs> Only God can call me a bitch. Only, only the father up above. Only father. Only father. <laughs> only big G.O.D. can call me a bitch. <laughs> oh, bro. She was in the front seat of her G-Wagon fingering herself at the thought of Brendan fucking putting this guy in a fucking chokehold. Yo, that's your husband and the father of your children. If he murders somebody in the streets, he's going to end up in prison. No more T-Fat K. You might have to get your, you, your G-Wag going to get repossessed, you know? I don't sure she's played it all out. If he, if he goes away or if he gets blasted, it's a wrap. I don't think Papa Shorb is going to support her unless she gives up the clunge for Papa Shorb. That would be wild, right? Brendan passes and then his dad ends up fucking hooking up with his, you know, his widow. That would be wild. But that would be very on brand for them, to be fair. That would be very on brand. To see like Papa Shorb now hooking up with her. <laughs> but she needs to relax, bro. Like, honestly. If anything, you should be protecting Brendan at all costs. Protect Brendan at all costs because he provides a lifestyle for everybody in that car. He puts the kids through private school. He provides her with a nice car with a big fat ring. A nice life. Like, 
don't be calling him to get him beefs. I wouldn't be doing that really. Saying he's gonna fuck me up, saying all these hurtful and horrible things to me and thinking, oh, cool, I just get to leave now. Brent intersects him. So She's so excited. She's so excited. You know what? I'm starting to believe, I'm starting to understand now Brendan's hate for black people. I'm starting to get it. Maybe the hate for black people is because her type before she got with Brendan was bad boys. She liked bad boys, like gangsters. So she might have been with a few thugs, a few dogs, a few niggery dogs in her back in her part in her previous life. So maybe Brendan finds it hard to like, you know, feels a bit emasculated that you know these hard ass criminal guys, and she she used to love being the girl in the club, like you know, having some other thug try and talk to her, and then she kind of like tells her boyfriend, "Hey, this guy said something about me." And then the guy goes over with a bottle of fucking champagne and smashes it over the guy's head. And they're all fighting, pulling straps out and in front of each other in the club. Like that gets her horny. Like maybe that's maybe that's why Brendan hates black people. Because you're having to compete with legit fucking gang leaders and gang members and shit. Well, then now I come behind. So we basically sandwiched him in between like Bren's truck and my car. Wow. And out of nowhere, I see Bren get out of the car, like out of his truck with like a death stare in his eye like he all he saw was red he was so upset he slams the door and he tries to like open the passenger door of this guy's work truck and it's locked and he starts like wow. yelling open the window you know and this guy looks over wow brendan tried to open the guy's car door nah 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 this woman is fucking dangerous bro this woman is dangerous that guy could have legitimately shot Brendan in the face. He would have ed he would have every right to as well with your fucking stand your ground self defense rule. He could have had every right to do so. Brendan drives up, cuts him off allegedly. They block. They kind of sandwich him in the middle of the road so he can't get out of where he's at. Then Brendan gets out and tries to open the car door. <sighs> Brendan's lucky he's still alive. This is a fucking insane story. This woman is. This woman is trouble, man. She's fucking trouble. And he doesn't know what just hit him, right? So then I come and he's like, roll the window down. And he rolls the window down and Bren just starts going off. He's like, how are you going to talk? This is my wife. He's like, what did you say? What did you tell her just now? He goes, oh, I didn't say anything. So then here I come and I'm like, really? You didn't? Oh, no. Come on, man. They're already having a pretty tense an aggressive argument anyway. You don't need to go and add more fuel to the fire. No, babe, he actually did. He could be a fucking bitch. Honestly, Tiger can tell you, he called me a fucking dirty, stinking bitch. He called me a fucking stinking bitch. He even said, I don't even have a nice G-Wagon. He said my G-Wagon's like from 2001. But Bren, you know it's 2024 one, right? He said I got a 2001 G-Wagon. Honestly, he said my Rolex was second hand. Yeah, he said that. He said the Rolex was second hand. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> Say anything? You didn't just tell me in front of my kids, kids? two seconds ago that you were going to beat me up? Did you not say that? I said, or are you too scared now that I... Big up, NJ Ranger. All he saw was red. And I said, Bren, sweetie, your hat is covering your hey! eyes right now. <laughs> yeah. All he saw was red. And actually, it was the fucking truck. He forgot to put the handbrake on. <laughs> it was rolling back. <laughs> it was a truck ro rolling backwards. <laughs> he forgot to pull it in park. <laughs> oh, his hat was too low. <laughs> Brendan's LA Dodgers hat was too low. <laughs> His Chiefs hat was too low. <laughs> Brendan, all he, all Brendan saw was red, but I think that might have been the specialized merch that he's doing for the pickup truck giveaway. You know, if you win the truck, then you don't have to <laughs> become a chain ranger. <laughs> oh. oh, my little husband, who is not so little, and he's here. Wow. She was trying to get Brendan more angry. You know what it reminds me of? Do you know like sometimes where like you're at home with just your mum? You know when you're younger and you piss off your mum and then your mum your mum says, wait until your dad gets back. Your dad gets back and then your mum tells your dad about what happened. 
but your dad had some like tough day himself so he's not really like you know he's not really concentrating on what she's saying but then she starts saying things to try to make your dad angry at you <laughs> you know that's what she tried to do she was trying to get brendan to be angry and to like go into like violence mode bren he even said you were some little guy he told me to go get my little husband he called you little <laughs> oh she was trying to get him hot she was trying to get him heated and i told you he was gonna you up i said now you don't have the balls to say what you told me in my face the sheer terror in this guy's face i've never seen it i listen i'm not for violence what i'm not for violence yes you are yes you are for violence you you you, you are a violent person you're just talking about an entire interaction that you could have dealt with yourself like grown adults between you and the driver you could have ignored it you could have kept it moving but you specifically kept going in this situation you called your guy to come down and fight a guy because of some like minor parking dispute you had with some dude. Come on, bro. I'm not for violence. Yes, you are for violence. You definitely are for violence. But the, um, the happiness I felt to see this guy literally shit his pants and like be on the like crying on the verge of crying shaking didn't like he didn't know what hit him was the most gratifying thing <sighs> yo this woman is sick this woman is sick she got grat she got a lot of gratification she got a lot of gratification out of this guy shit in his pants she wanted to see blood in it she wanted to see blood she wanted to see a broken arm she wanted to see something. She wanted this guy to bleed. She wanted him to fucking scream out in pain. Wow, bro. That I have ever experienced because here you have my kids in the car crying because they're afraid. They're seeing their dad sticking up for his wife and his kids because it's unacceptable to have somebody talk to anybody like that. Not really. It happens all the time. You don't have to go and call your husband to physically fight the person that said something bad about like what so if someone flips you off at a traffic light are you going to take down their number plate and then tell brendan to go and find them and fuck them up is that all we're doing is that all we're doing let alone a woman with her children in the car and just seeing that and seeing him crumble because he's a coward because maybe no one had ever stepped up to him or or really faced him in other yeah exactly big up engine ranger again if this woman got into a fight got into it with me <laughs> exactly engine ranger <laughs> if this woman got into it with me and called her husband they'd end up on some airbrush t-shirt with bapper's fat face on it exactly like you're playing with fire bro like i keep telling you guys that like, one of the most distressful videos i've watched and something that honestly like made me emotional watching it was that video of that guy getting murked at a fucking gas station in America. I think the story goes, there's a dispute in a gas station. There's They're in a gas station shop buying whatever they're buying. And then two people get into a, an argument in the queue, uh, two guys. they One of the guys says, okay, cool, I'm going to fight you. Let's go fight outside. They go outside to fight. And then the guy that's losing, his girlfriend goes into the car, pulls out a gun, and then shoots the guy that's winning the fight because he was beating up her husband. And then when they went to court, I think they got found not guilty because technically she was like defending her guy or whatever. And it was like, it was a fight. Like, yeah, it's not a good thing, but it was like a fisticuffs that then led to just somebody getting murked. Like, <laughs> just, be just, just because, like, that shit broke my heart. Like, fuck, man. You could get into some like dispute with somebody over the fucking refillable drinks stand, right? And then suddenly, the next moment, you're waking up in ER with a with a fucking with hardly a pulse. Jesus Christ, man! Really, be careful. Like you don't know who you're messing with outside. Like, and there's another video, isn't there? Another video recently too. I saw on Public Freakout subreddit. I can't play it because I'll get fucking taken down. But there's a video on a public freakout video of a guy recently. Um, I think he, he rolls up to a dude in a white pickup truck. A white dude comes out. He's arguing with some guy. It's a trap. It's a it's a road rage dispute. And then he, go, he goes to open the door. 
As soon as he opens the door, the guy just shoots him twice in the face. Bang, bang. It's like, don't play with people, man. People don't want to be played with. Like, people don't want, like, don't put hands on people. Leave people alone. Because if you play the wrong people, they're going to legitimately turn your lights off permanently. Like, this woman is fucking crazy with your kids in the car as well. Like, fucking hell. Def at least diffuse the situation. Bring it down a couple temperatures. And all you need to do is just drive away. Like, come on, man. It's not like the guy followed you or anything. If anything, she was following him and cornering him and making sure that Brendan saw him when he got there. And she's like, what is this? Are you guys going to gang up on him? Are you all going to jump out the whip and like stomp him out? Like, what is this? The ways when maybe he has spoken to other women like that. Um, it was just really nice. And it was so rewarding to be able to say, oh, yeah. <laughs> it was so, it was really nice and rewarding. Yo, this woman is sick. This woman is sick in the head. No wonder she deleted the video from YouTube. This woman is sick in the head. She's smiling and laughing at the at the image of this guy cowering and being scared and being frightened. It's filling her with joy. Yo, this woman is Cersei, man. This is the Mexican Cersei Lannister. She's all about the violence. Here's my husband. Deal with that beast. Good luck. Unless you have a gun, there is no way on earth you're going to be able to defeat the beast of a husband that I have. <laughs> oh my God. This woman is, this woman might be, this woman might be the downfall of Brendan Shaw. More so than the subreddit. More so than Unique. More so than me and anybody else out there that might point and laugh at him. His own wife, the own mother of his kids, the person that sleep next to him at night, she might actually be his downfall. This woman is psychotic, bro. Unless you have a gun, and even that, he's built like Wolverine, his body heals. It's like, what? Fucking hell. So good luck. This guy, I think, um, probably got diarrhea instantly. Um, he was shriveling, he was, literally on the like the terror and the verge of on the verge of crying um and i i stood up to him and yo big up andrew tate did they forget they have a daughter good point good point but i guess maybe the mother-in-law might be looking after the daughter maybe one of the many nannies they have because you know they have nannies of course but they don't talk about that too often but yeah i wonder i wonder what is with that daughter what's with the little critter somebody suggested on the final kids subreddit which is really sad but somebody's just in the Find the Kids subreddit that maybe because I think somebody saw pictures of the baby and allegedly it's not the cutest daughter in the world, like, you know, and some people are suggesting that maybe because the baby isn't like cute, that's why they don't talk about the baby too much. And I was like, oh, that's grim, bro. But that I could believe with Brendan and his woman. I could believe a scenario where they're kind of like, you know, a bit cool on the daughter because the daughter's not a cutie pie. That's horrible if true, but someone said that on the Reddit. I was like, God almighty, man. Hope that isn't true. I hope that isn't true. And I, I got a little ghetto myself, guys. Even later, Bren was like, damn, why were you like shaking your head? I and got a I was ghetto. like, because. I was like, you don't understand how frustrating. I got, a ghetto, I got a little bit ghetto. There's nothing ghetto about you. Maybe this attitude you have is a bit trashy, but ghetto. Was for him to actually give me the attitude and said call your little husband then i did i said and you showed up at the perfect time it was meant to be god was looking out and god was looking out you think that was god interfering you think that was god this woman is going to be the death of somebody bro jesus it was just really cool um so thanks bren for being our superhero the kids were really proud Bren's, a, Bren's an interesting nickname for Brendan, isn't it? But I guess girls in general like to give their, you know, partners, boyfriends, whatever, like cutesy nicknames. But Bren's a weird one. Like, but I guess she wants to have like her own little name for him. Her own little pet name, maybe. I don't know. Weird. Out of him, I told them that, you know, we should always stick up to bullies and defend people who can't defend themselves. And that guy shriveled when he... <laughs> I don't know. It sounds like you were the bully in this situation. I'm not going to lie. You guys had a little passer. You cornered him. You basically goaded him into kind of threatening you. Then when the, when the guy came, you were still kind of adding fuel to the fire. I don't know. You seem like the bully. I think that guy isn't a bully. I think you're the bully.
he realized who he was messing with and when he realized that someone did come to my rescue and was gonna stop him in his tracks um he didn't know what to do he didn't know what to do and i wish i can tell you guys more of what it was but um there's nothing more to tell us that's the story what more is there to tell us what more happened yeah that's kind of what happened um i wish i could tell you more but that's kind of what happened is that what she said <laughs> Had come to my rescue and was gonna stop him in his tracks um he didn't know what to do he didn't know what to do and i wish i can tell you guys more of what it was but um yeah that's kind of what happened she's so dumb um <laughs> just know that guy probably won't be back to my starbucks that guy won't be back to my starbucks that guy won't be back to my starbucks yo these kids man pray for brendan schub's kids man that guy won't be back to my Starbucks. What the fuck does that mean? Does she have CTE too? Is that what, the CTE get passed through people, through like, you know, bodily fluids and shit? Could, get, could she get CTE from Brendan having CTE? The guy won't be back to my Starbucks. And um, he's gonna think twice next time he talks to somebody like that. Um, that's, uh, that's what it was, guys. Hi, sorry. I'm Oh. oh, Tiger, yeah, thank you. Thanks, guys. More of what it was, but, um, yeah, that's... <laughs> what the fuck was that? That's kind of what happened. Um, just know that guy probably won't be back to my Starbucks. And um, he's going to think twice next time he talks to somebody like that. Um, that's uh, that's what it was, guys. Hi. Sorry. I'm... Oh. oh, Tiger, yeah, thank you. Thanks, hey. guys. Sorry, picking up Tiger and the kids from school. Um, yeah, it was a, it's a very rewarding feeling, and um, I'm so proud of Bren. It was I told him, listen, whatever mess you want to leave in the house today, you want to leave socks, shoes all over the place, shit show, you got it. You're a superhero today. Um, so yeah, guys, uh, that was uh, that's what happened. And uh, after that, the guy, by the way when Bren scared him to death and you know other things happened when the what, what other things happened did he did he physically assault this guy do you think i've got a feeling brendan actually touched him in it brendan must have like picked him up or something but she doesn't want to say that because you know it might get him in trouble is that what she's trying to suggest brendan might have like put the guy in the headlock or something <laughs> or picked him up and put him on his shoulder <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> this whole thing was going on um the guy didn't know how to drive um he was trying to like put the car i don't know if it was like in drive i don't know if he had put it in park i don't know what was going on but the guy couldn't leave the spot because his car his truck got stuck it's like when you put your car in like uh the wrong gear and you like try and rev the the engine it was like rah, rah, and he was trying so hard to get out of there and he just couldn't finally when he figured it out and he put it in drive the guy took off and he almost hit another car because he ran the red light that's how frantic he was he ran a red light and uh other people were honking at him um so dude shout out to you um i know you're gonna have more respect for people now and next time, I hope you think twice about what you say, because like I said yesterday, you never know when a Brendan Schaub is going to show up. And um, that's what you get. Bye. This woman might get Brendan killed. I, I'm not even being hyperbolic, but this woman legitimately might get Ber Brendan murked. She might get Brendan murked. She might get Brendan's snot box rocked, as Hassan Campbell would say. Big up Hassan Campbell. She might get Brendan's snot box rocked if she's not careful and that guy is the main breadwinner of the household he's the one that keeps the lights on he's the one that pays the bills he's the one that provides her with this fucking lifestyle that she has she has to be very careful man tread lightly because this woman's enjoyment and glee that she gets from seeing her husband get into physical altercations on her behalf is a bit intense man it's a bit intense she needs to chill the fuck out because there's going to be somebody out there that won't give a fuck about Brendan. That won't give a fuck about him and a story and everything. And will just pull out their strap in defense of themselves and take his head off from his shoulders. She needs to be very, very careful what she wishes for or what she plays with. Jesus, man. What a psycho. What an absolute psycho. 
but yeah i guess um you end up with who you deserve right you end up with who you deserve really in life there's no mistakes when it comes to your partner sometimes you end up with exactly the right person that you need because jesus man they are perfect for each other they are the worst for each other but definitely perfect for each other 100 percent perfect for each other 